Hey everybody, so I planned on this video, it was two purposes. One, I wanted to review the product that I'm about to introduce. And two, I wanted to show you with it working. Before I get into all that, I wanted to show you something that you may not know about. You may, you may know about it, but I didn't know about it until one day I just happened to be in, in a store and saw it. So we have not seen any evidence of rattlesnakes lately, but I know my property has rattlesnakes. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I do, I don't mind if they're good snakes, you know, uh, we do have a black snake, and so that's nice because I tend to keep rattlesnakes away. We've got an indigo that runs around here. But if we see rattlesnakes, I went out and I found these. They're from CCI, and it's snake shot. It fits right into my, this one's a 9mm, it fits right into my uh, Ruger EC9S. Um, so I can just carry it on my hip while we are out working in the yard. And typically I don't have to worry about that a whole lot, but the job I'm doing today, I'm in the scrubs. And so I make sure that I have that with me just in case a rattlesnake decides to come at me or I see one, I can't have, I can't have them around here. So if I see one, <clears throat> I can take care of it real quick. I have like six, six in the magazine. And that way I, I don't have to worry about it. You know, where I'm at, it's not like I could run away or even back away closely where I'm working. So I need to be able to, to stop that, that snake from having the possibility of taking care of me, <laughs> taking care of me, abiding me. So, so I wanted to, just make you aware of that option. If you live in an area that has a propensity for poisonous snakes, I mean, uh, venomous snakes, I don't want you snake lovers jumping down my throat. There's no such thing as a poisonous snake. You get what I'm saying. So if you if you have what water moccasins or rattlesnake, whatever, you, I mean, there's plenty, copperheads, that is an option for you to take care of them. So I just wanted to show you that. Let me get what I really wanted to kind of review today. Um, and we'll get talking about it. So give me one second. All right. So the job I'm doing, we have all, uh, well, on two sides of our backyard, excuse me. Um, we have on two sides of our backyard, we have these scrubs and they're starting to overgrow. They're pushing into the fence, not a good situation. So I need to clear those out. Well, I probably can't tell on the camera. I've already done this side and I, I was hoping I could get it all done in one shot. It's looking like that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, I had to go inside and sit for about an hour because man, it's, it's brutal. That's what I get for starting hot manual labor at noon in Florida. <laughs> it's just, it's brutal. So I started, I got this whole side chopped down. I started in the back. I have maybe another, 20 or 30 yards left to go, but that's the thickest stuff. So it's it's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna work on it just a little bit more, but I'm not gonna get a whole lot of action shots for you of me chopping it down just because it's so hot. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit and take it down over the next few days. But I wanted to review this chainsaw here. It's Ryobi 14 inch. This is my first experience with a budget chainsaw. I've always used commercial rigs, whether it was still or Husqvarna. I'm a Husqvarna guy. Still wasn't necessarily anything wrong with it. I just really preferred how the Husqvarna operated. It was very smooth. I never had any issues with it. The only thing I wish Husqvarna had, Oregon came out with a self sharpener that instead of this guard, it fits around, clamps on both sides, and it sharpens as you do it, as you, as you, so, as you use the saw, so that makes it really nice. I don't know if that's something I can just put on to my Husqvarna, but anyway, my thoughts on this Ryobi. Essentially, 
I don't know who it's made by, but everything else about it screams pull on to me. And I'm okay with that. Pull on, I mean, they're, they're decent budget. I've sold so many pull ons over the year, uh, over the years when I was a salesman for outdoor lawn equipment. The wild thing, they're a one and done kind of chainsaw as most of your pull-ons are where you, you get it because a hurricane comes through, you chop down and then you toss it out. It's not one that you plan on keeping for years like you do with the stills and the echoes and the Husqvarna's and, and stuff like that. But I knew I had this job to do. I don't use a chainsaw for really any other, any other use. This one here is only rated for 50 hours worth of use. And what a lot of people don't realize when they're looking at chainsaws is that is a massive benefit of going with a commercial rig where they're rated to last a lot longer. These are meant for small jobs that don't take a very long time. You're not gonna be using a, this Ryobi or a Poulon or a Craftsman or something like that for you know hours on end and, and days on end. So what do I think about this chainsaw? It's got some heft to it, which was promising. You know, I, I've never owned any Ryobi product, but I've always known them as, you know, Home Depot's power tool brand. It's got some, some heft to it, so that was nice. And it works well. It's fired right up. Um, let's go ahead and, and start it. starts really well when it's hot i mean it's been sitting for a little bit but it's still it's still warm it's not like you know it's sat overnight so it starts really well that way the only downfall i didn't go through a lot of big material on this first part i probably won't for the rest of it but i did take down a um it wasn't even a tree it was just a stump that had one branch growing over about six six inches six to eight inches and it took it down with no problem i didn't have to worry about this not having enough to get through which is expected being 14 inch you know you don't want to ever try to hit 14 inches you want to try to keep it you know about half of what the bar length is maybe a little less anyway so it went through it no issues the only downfall i have found with this sorry chickens are are uh, grabbing my attention we have one chicken that was going after another then all of a sudden i saw the one that was getting picked on surrounded by all the other chickens and it was like they said break and they all took off running towards the mean chicken so anyway the only downfall is the response time with this trigger you know when i'm running the the husk varnas and other stuff there's always a little bit of lag for the you know the anti-kickback there's always a little bit of a lag but this is like I mean, bad, bad. Like, I thought it, it was just going to die. Like, I was flooding the engine. It was going to die. And then it kicks off and goes. That's really the only downside I see to this chainsaw. Would I recommend buying this? For the average homeowner, definitely. It was $130. Um, had I waited a few weeks, I probably could have got it a little bit cheaper with hurricane season coming around. It may have been... May have been a little less than 130. I can't remember. I got a lot of stuff that day, but it's well worth to have. You never know when Mother Nature's gonna gonna wreak havoc and send down a tree, and you need to get that cleaned up, or you know, go and help somebody. It's worth having just sitting there, ready to go. It's a fairly decent chainsaw. I know I only have an hour, maybe two tops on it, but um, it's pretty good. I would buy this again. When I'm ready to sink good money into a chainsaw, I'm not going Ryobi. I'm going Husqvarna and I'm gonna buy the Husqvarna that I want. But this is a very good chainsaw and I have no issues with it running other than that lag. It's just got really strong, let me see. 
it's got a really just long lag to it where I mean it only may be two seconds but when I hit that I expect it to go not bog down and then go so that's what we have Ryobi chainsaw 14 inch worth a buy you know if you have trees after trees after trees to take down maybe not but for the average home unit homeowner the average user good chainsaw go out and get you one i'll put a link down below one thing i've been putting links with smiles that does not go to me the 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 smile charity that i have on my computer that i support and it's just because that's what i use i put down there is for the believe in santa foundation uh, it's a small charity here in town run or not in town in florida um, run by santa keith carson he is one of santa's helpers and he really makes sure that not just underprivileged but kids that just need some extra love get 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 that all throughout the year and not just at christmas so i really like what they do i just put it in there because it's already on my computer feel free to change it to whatever you want to support or don't um, if you want to support believe in santa foundation that's awesome thank you um, on their behalf but i have no connection to them other than i support them and um i know some people were kind of wondering about that especially with some of my pool videos it's not my my store i get nothing from it it's just what i use personally to help a charity out so i'll put a link for this down in the description i'll see if i can find a link for the pistol rounds i don't even remember what i've had them for so long that i don't even remember what they're called all i know is cci made them so if you have any questions feel free to ask i'll try to answer them if i don't know it i'll go research it and answer it for you but y'all be self-sufficient help everyone you can inconvenience no one and you have a good day bye